Hi everyone, Kate from Krakowblog is here and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to have a short tutorial on how to fix one issue that you might have encountered while working on a project. Elementor not loading. Yes guys, to be honest, our support team receives quite a few questions of that kind. So to sort things out and dot the i's once and for all, let's dive deep into this video. But before we proceed any further, please don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to receive notifications about new interesting tutorials. So guys, shall we get started? If you happen to see that your Elementor widget panel does not load and this constantly spinning loading icon creeps you out because you really need to get done with the project but nothing works as it should, no worries. Right now we'll go over a few simple steps that will help you to troubleshoot the issue and easily fix it. First and foremost, please make sure that your system configuration meets all the technical requirements, because these are necessary for Crocoblock products to work smoothly and properly with Elementor. You may also find them right here on the FAQ page along with other useful information. So guys, we often hear such a story. Hey Crocos, I just installed Jet Elements plugin. And it broke my website. The Elementor editor is not working. Only when Jet Elements is disabled, I can edit an Elementor. What is wrong with it? Why is it not compatible? What shall I do? From the first glance, it may seem that Jet Elements plugin is conflicting with Elementor, right? Well, actually, no. The thing is that the problem lies a bit deeper, and the issue occurs not only with Jet Elements, but with any other plugin that requires the same amount of space. This means that the issue occurs due to the lack of resources. Most of such cases are easily resolved by increasing the PHP memory limit. Depending on the web hosting service you use, you can either contact your hosting support and submit a plan upgrade request or navigate to the cPanel and do it yourself. And don't hesitate to check the PHP version too, because if the web hosting server is running on an outdated version of PHP, then it can also lead to Elementor not loading error. Also, here are a few useful tips that might come in very handy as well. First, change editor loading method. Elementor provides an option to change the front-end editor's loading method. It is very helpful in solving some shared hosting issues. So to do that, you need to go to Elementor, Settings, Advanced, and under Editor Loader, enable Switch Editor Loader method. Good. Second, deactivate unused plugins. Go to the Plugins section and make sure that only necessary plugins that you are currently using are active in the dashboard. Third, disable unused widgets. Here, in the Crocoblock Jet plugin section, you have an opportunity to disable unnecessary widgets that you are not planning on using in your project. Deactivating or disabling unused widgets will reduce resource usage and can fix the loading errors. And fourth, check WordPress and site addresses. Go to Settings, General, and make sure that the links in the WordPress address and the site address are the same and entered correctly. That's pretty much it! Thank you so much for watching this video! I hope it was useful and informative for you and your projects. If you still have any questions left, please don't hesitate to write them right in the comments below this video or contact our support team so they could assist you. If you have brilliant ideas that you'd like us to implement, please share them with us on our GitHub page and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!